pretties welcome back to my channel thank you so much for pressing that play button i am so grateful every time that i just get a view from each and every one of y'all so as suspected you all do respond a lot better to get ready with me's our videos where i'm actually sitting here in front of the camera talking to you looking crazy right now but by the time I upload it, I won't be looking crazy no more. Ain't that kind of weird being a YouTuber knowing that you're just talking to yourself until you actually upload it? Anywho, so this is not going to be so much of a lengthy getting ready with me or talking about a topic. What it's more so is a initial thought of this palette right here, the Festive Palette by Juvia's Place. Now, y'all already know, if you watch my channel, if you really bang with me, you rock with me, you know I am a big fan of Juvia's Place. I love that it's a Black-owned business. I love to support Black-owned business, and I absolutely stand by the quality of their products. The quality of the eyeshadows are absolutely amazing. I have nearly every palette that they've came out with, except maybe two. Like, I don't have the Magic or um, the, the Douce palette or whatever. Those are the only two I don't have, but every other palette I have. And I probably plan on getting because it's my addiction. Now, I do want to let y'all know, if y'all hear a lot of like whooshing in the background and stuff, it's a very windy day here in Maryland. I'm sorry about that. I'll try to edit out as much as I can. Other than that, I want to go ahead and jump right into it. I don't like to do a lot of rambling, so let's go. All right, so I'm zooming the camera in so y'all can really get my eyes. Do not mind this cast on my forehead. Obviously, it's for my concealer. But what I'm going to start off with, um, what I do want to mention that I didn't mention in my last video is I'm going to prime my eyes with this Glamouflage Concealer. And this is in the color, I believe it's called Warm Honey. You can see it if it will focus. Come on now, you want to focus. And there we go. Glamouflage Concealer, and I'm going to take my Juvia's Place J109 Smudger Brush, and I'm just going to pat this down all over my lid to help create a nice base. And what I like to do is I like to take it and put it on like that. You wait about a minute or two, let it get a little tacky, and then you finish patting it out. I just find that it has a lot stronger stain powder. And then I'll just set it with some translucent powder. So really, really easy steps. Don't have to go through every little thing to show y'all that. Really quickly going over packaging. Packaging is absolutely gorgeous. I always absolutely love Juvia's Place packaging, the whole African theme that they have going on. I think it's beautiful for the culture. And when you open it up, Wow, look at these colors. The colors are absolutely amazing. Now, I do have to say, in my personal opinion, um, I'm kind of disappointed that there's not really a lot of transitional shades. I always like to personally start my transition off with like some type of brown, taupe, um, yeah, warm brown, chocolate color, something like that. And this palette does not offer any. But it is not a big deal. This is definitely one of those palettes that you want to add on to your collection that you already have. This is not going to be something that you can just, in my opinion, use everything here in this palette and just make it work. Which is exactly why I'm going to use the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place. That's this one. And I'm going to use the browns that they have in here. The browns Madagascar and then also Kenya. And that is what I'm going to start in my transitional shade with. I'm going to take one of my favorite brush brushes, the Morphe 504 brush. It's just a big fluffy brush and it's really, really good to go across my lids. And I'm going to swirl it around in Madagascar, the first brown that I showed you guys. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to take that brown and I'm just going to go ahead and start to lay that down as my transitional shade. This is just going to help all those other colors lay so much better. In my opinion, you definitely need to start every single look off with a transitional shade. Chin laid nice like how I want it. I'm going to go right into the Festive palette and I'm going to use this color called Oro. That's the shade right here. Oro is like a warm mustardy color mustard brown color i'm going to put that one um right under my transitional shade with my lancome number 17 brush and i'm noticing right off the hand that it is very 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 light it comes off on the brush with a lot of pigment but it's very light and i know that that is definitely going to depend on your skin complexion so if you are more light skin caucasian it's definitely going to be a more popping color 
but for me it is very light I kind of have to build it up and that's okay because sometimes I like colors that are I have to build up rather than you put it on it's like whoa you took me for a loop there and with each color that you continue to add you should be going further and further down your eye so now that I place those two colors down, I'm going to go back into my Nubian 2 palette and I'm going to get the color Kenya. I'm using the same brush that I placed that Oro on with, which is again my Lancome number 17 brush. And I'm going to swirl it around. Be careful with the Kenya because unlike the Oro, this is very, very, very pigmented. And what I really want to do right here is just focus it on my outer V to start to create some definition to my eye shape. This brush is really good for um, creating definition or bringing a lot of pigment. Now, if you notice, I'm not really worrying about blending with this brush. I just kind of want to pack that color on. I'm going to take another brush that is much better to go in and do the blending with. So the brush that I'm using to do the blending with is the Juvia's Place number J115 blending brush. And I'm just going to go around the edges of it and just softly blend it up so that we don't see any lines. So next up, I'm going back in my Nubian 2 palette. And as you can see, I'll be going back and forth between the palettes. I just wanted to keep everything Juvia's Place related. So I'm going to go back to this palette. And I'm going to use this color called Cleopatra. It's just this pretty, pretty deep blue. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm using the M506 brush. And this is a very tiny brush. Here's a tip. If you have eyes that are like mine, I have eyes that are very small and slanted. You need to use very small brushes. So sometimes I watch other um, beauty influencers, other makeup artists, and I see them using brushes that just do not work for my eyes. I found don't work for my eyes because they're a little too big. But what I'm going to do with this color is I'm going to come right here on top of that outer V color. And I'm going to place this down. And you will see exactly why I did this in just a minute. It's all gonna, it's all gonna make sense and it's all gonna tie. This color I don't really want to take up so far, but I do want to take it in. And don't worry about it getting all down here and stuff because this is a cut crease look. So we are going to clean that up. This is actually going to make for the cut crease being like so much more prettier, trust me. Okay, so this is pretty much what your look should be looking like right now. So now we can get to the fun part of doing things. Well, actually, I'm going to add a little bit more Kenya. A little bit more Kenya because I just want a little, well, I want a lot more definition. I love to see my eyes looking nice and defined. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so now I build up my color like how I want it. And do not worry about your ends like looking messy as fuck right now. They should be. If you're doing it right, they should be looking messy. This is why you go in with concealer or you either start off with tape. I just always forget to start off with tape. So I just go in with concealer and clean it up. No big deal. But basically what we want to do now is we want to take some concealer, speaking of, and cut out our crease. So let me show y'all how to do that real quick. I'm going to turn my brush out to use. What do you think about somebody move my brush? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm always talking shit. Okay. okay, so I like to use the Morphe 508 brush, M508 brush. It's a little teeny tiny rounded out brush. Let me go ahead and let y'all see this up close and in person because this is really important if you have small eyes too. See how little and tiny and rounded out it is? It works perfectly for me. I was too trying to use like brushes like um, the big concealer type brush. Where's that concealer brush? I was trying to use brushes like this. This don't work for me. Like it's way, way, way too big. I have to use something super fine, super small. And what we're going to do is start here in the inner corner. And just round it out. Make sure you have a good amount of concealer on your brush. Don't be scared of having too much. 
because it's much easier if you can just kind of glide across your eye. All right, so now that I went ahead and cut my crease, I'm going to go ahead and go back into my festive palette. And I'm gonna start off with this color first. It's ABBA, it's a very pretty ocean blue. And I'm gonna add it right here. So I'm going to wet my brush with some setting spray just because I really want the pigment to pop. This, dear colors already pop enough. They honestly do, but I'm just kind of being, I'm being a little extra conica. That's my nickname. <laughs> and we're just gonna pat it right there. This blue is so bold. Yes, blue. So after we get that pretty blue all on, I'm just gonna go right into the palette again. I'm gonna use this color. It's just a really pearl white color. It's called You. And I'm going to place that down in my inner corner using the same brush, a number 12 brush from Lancome to do this. I'm gonna pat it right up in here. Don't worry about blending yet. We are going to blend the look together in a minute. What I am noticing is that, as always, every single shade is so blendable that you don't even have to do more than just a few strokes and it's blended. This white is seeming to have a lot of fallout though, so just FYI with that. But whites tend to have fallout, period, just like yellows, so it's not really a big deal. Corner. And what I had said the first time was I noticed that the white had a lot of fallout. Now, I can't necessarily blame Juvia's Place for that because traditionally I know colors like white and yellows tend to have a lot of fallout. But I will say it is blending like a dream. So that's always a super plus in my book. And I'm not, I didn't wet this because sometimes when you wet whites, they can get a little bit patchy whites, yellows, any kind of colors like that. I want a little bit higher on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up at liner and lash. And well, yeah, I'm going to actually go ahead and finish my face. And then I'm going to come back with my final thoughts about this palette. Everything that you need to know. And should you buy it? up out on YouTube it just looks like oh in five minutes she's just ready like she woke up like this but in reality it's been like two fucking hours and this has been the longest tutorial everything that could have gone wrong went wrong but y'all ain't come here to hear my problems and my issues y'all came here to hear the final verdict about the palette so my final verdict the festive palette by Juvia's I definitely I love the color coordination um cons is definitely that white um it's even starting to fall out in the palette so that's not really um too much of a good look for me i don't really like that uh, another con would be that the trans there are no transitional shades really i mean some could argue and say that ofla or oro is a transitional shade um but it's just not for, I feel, the Ofla could definitely be for brown girls. The Aura is very hard to be the main transitional shade for a brown girl. Ofla is just super duper bold. So where where is the color if you just want to play around with these colors, but you don't want that boldness? It's lacking that. So that's definitely a con for me. Definitely some pros of the palette is that the colors are always blendable. Everything in Juvia's Place is always super blendable and it's very cost effective. I think this palette was like $20 maybe 
and that's including the shipping. So that's pretty cost effective. I recommend anything with Juvia's Place. If you're a beginner and this is like, this is not gonna be one of the first palettes you buy just because of the color setup. It's just way too bold and it's just not enough transitional shades and not enough matte shades, but this is definitely something fun to add to your collection. If you're a makeup artist or makeup enthusiastic, definitely get this palette. So it is approved by me. I really hope that you all enjoyed this eye look and you enjoyed my thoughts. Let me know if you got this palette and what do you think? What do you think about Juvia's Place period? Um, do you like the brand? Do you not like the brand? What are some of your favorite palettes from Juvia's Place? As always, if you like this video, press the thumbs up because it does help the channel and do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you can see my next video. Until then, stay pretty. Bye y'all.